First and foremost, it kind of starts looking at the skill sets of individuals. Um, you know, even if somebody hasn't got digital in their job title, you know, any marketeer has to have a certain amount of digital within them now. And, and in my ideal world, you know, holy grail, you cut marketing people down the middle and they would be 50% digital at least. Um, so you, you look at, at that level. Um, then you also start looking, where do I need distinct, discrete digital expertise? in particular areas and that can start giving you a shape of the organization but then I think you, you get more cultural in the shift of what you need to actually do and, and process very much comes into this as well uh, I'll give you one example um, marketing functions tend to be orientated around projects campaigns what's our campaign what's the next campaign and you go from campaign to campaign to campaign Digital is often more is always on, to, to coin a phrase, which means you're running a continuous wave of activity. Now, you'll have peaks and troughs with that, but you've always got people dedicated to doing a certain number of roles. And that starts really changing the shape of the organisation, where people are dedicated to particular things all the time, rather than running on projects. And how that works within the organisation is one thing, but how you run your agencies, for example, um, in that world, is another thing as well because that could actually fundamentally change your contractual relationships with your agencies. If they're used to coming to you and saying okay here's the project managers, we'll do this campaign, we'll give you a report at the end of how well it performed and then we'll go on to the next brief, you're not actually saying that anymore. It's kind of like I want to retain people doing this job 24 by 7, this is the reporting infrastructure I want. So you know it starts fundamentally changing that and then you need people that actually know how to manage those sorts of environments. It started to happen and it is happening progressively that I think agencies are um, less like a bank where you've got all your money in one place and you go to that place when you need to do something um, and more like a sweet shop where you kind of go in and pick and choose depending on what flavour you want. And small lean agencies that are keen to deliver engaging content working together is a structure that I'm very interested to have a look at. You absolutely, I, mean, I think for, for me at the moment, you still need to have um, an agency with an overarching creative ambition and, and the kind of scope of thinking that allows them to deliver something big to, to do the umbrella bit. But when it comes to building an app or making a film or you know uh, building a microsite or whatever it happens to be, you can find generally lean cost-effective agencies that will approach something from a slightly different perspective and are happier to work with you rather than work for them. I would actually say the biggest skill set, and it is a skill set and it's an attitude within a, an agency, is actually willingness to work with other agencies. Um, and you, I mean there's a world of ultra-skilled, very creative digital agencies and marketing agencies out there. Uh, and the nature of digital over the last few years is that they're very much fragmented into kind of pockets of excellence. So your social media experts, your kind of like media buying experts, your web build, web design experts, your app experts, your mobile experts, there's experts in everything. Um, and there's plenty out there to go and buy and choose from. The ones that I find myself working the most with with those that are perfectly happy and willing to talk to each other and perfectly happy and willing to walk, work towards the, the common goal of the client uh, rather than battle over who gets what share of the client's budget. Uh, and actually, that's not anything you can do overnight. I believe that really comes from actually looking to evolve strong partnerships with your agencies that stay with you for a while. Uh, and actually trusting them and going on the ups and down journeys with them but actually getting to this point where you have a genuine collective team sense whether internal or external.